This escalation in the Middle East has deeply affected the region, killing thousands, displacing millions. Here's a report looking at the finer details. Listen in. Israel is marking the first anniversary of the October 7th Hamas attack that prompted the nation's strongest response in decades. Immediately after the attack, the IDF launched airstrikes and a ground invasion in Gaza aimed at dismantling Hamas that continues to this day. A year later, Israel's war with Gaza has spread, creating a dangerous regional crisis. What began as a localized conflict between Israel and Hamas has transformed into a multi-front war. The involvement of key regional players, notably Iran, has heightened tensions, particularly following its recent ballistic missile strike on Israeli targets. Israel is now facing a war from seven different fronts. The fighting in Gaza remains one of the most significant fronts Israeli airstrikes continue to target Hamas infrastructure, while ground operations have led to significant casualties. Meanwhile, 97 out of the 250 Israeli hostages captured by Hamas on October 7th are still held in Gaza, with many feared dead. The initial war between Israel and Hamas has seen major escalation with neighboring countries such as Iran. Six months into the war, tensions grew between Israel and Iran after Iran rained down missiles on Israel in response to Tel Aviv striking the Iranian consulate in Syria. Hamas's top leader, Ismail Hania, was also killed in Israeli strikes. Last month, Israel struck Lebanese militant group Hezbollah in an attack that saw around 5,000 pagers and radios detonating. As Israel launched its ground invasion in Beirut, Hezbollah fired a barrage of rockets towards Israel. The IDF claims Hezbollah militants have fired over 10,000 rockets across the border since October 8th. Hezbollah's strikes have struck deeper into Israeli territory than they have done in any other recent attacks. Schools have closed in many northern areas of Israel and gatherings have been restricted. The war in Lebanon and Gaza now threatens to spread further after Iran fired nearly 200 missiles at Israel on October 1st. Iran stated that this attack was a response to the killings of Hezbollah leader Nasrallah and Hamas political leader Hanaya. As tensions continue to rise, both Iran and the international community are preparing for a possible Israeli retaliation in the wake of the massive missile strikes and a fear of a growing regional war. Samia Afsir for NDTV World.